we solved the problem of the banner because the parades are coming. So did we have a little bit of money to <coughs> order one? We have. We have the banner. That's not on your agenda, but we'll oh. re report it in the Thank you, meeting. Dale. Thank you. My, all my problems are solved. Well, and, and I kind of had a big concern over that, too, because, you know, otherwise we look pretty little. But, yeah, that's awesome. So you David. found the banner or you, you Go ahead. The banner? Was it hiding in storage, Joan? Okay. Yay. And the sticks, the poles? All right. All right, But we David. need new poles. No? For the banner spend more time on that banner. You're spending too much time on that. Okay. You've got a few minutes. Okay. David? Go ahead. All right, David. So, so if I could, I'm just trying to clarify so I understand. So executive, well, the committees one, two, and three, those will be standing committees from what we're discussing. Right. And then everything else will fall into these three committees for all the functions of the subcommittees and ad hoc. Is that correct? So our, I would our can that, be brought forward to the full commission. So if they, all right, if the executive committee doesn't make a decision to have an ad hoc and there's a consensus of the commission as a whole, if you see a need that there needs to be an ad hoc committee for specifics, and it's a short term, it doesn't live t forever, but if you're looking at a committee or a subcommittee that would be... Um, the tabletop. It has a single purpose. It would be an ad hoc. It once that is accomplished, it no longer exists. So you, the commission as a whole can make that decision. It mm -hmm. just doesn't have to come from the executive. Uh, no, I understand that. But so it, numbers one, two, and three, those are the three standing. So I would assume that each of those committees would have a meeting every month. There'd have to be some sort of ongoing process. And then everything else would fall into there and it would be assigned as needed, correct? So the items that we have currently on the, the commission agenda, those would all now fall into one, two, and three. Okay. And so when we have a commission meeting, we'd have a report from one, two, and three. And then within one, two, and three, all of these would fall out. Correct? Okay. Thank you. I was trying to get there too. Yeah. And I, I do think that that is our default. The, I guess being a little bit of a, mm, not devil's advocate, but trying to, uh, well, I guess it is devil's advocate. I could see that potentially the commission might want to create on its own, independent of the standing committees, occasionally an ad hoc committee mm -hmm. that would come directly right. to the commission. But but though we don't, I don't think we need to wrestle with that right now. Well, and and, and I think too while while we're working towards this piece, which how, mm. how long did it take us to get to this piece? We, we now realize that, that there's going to be ad hocs that mm. come and go, but it doesn't muddy up the waters for there's a all process. the other work. Yeah, there's Bingo. A right. Yeah. Oh boy, we Bingo. did it. We did it. All right. So anything else? Cause so I'm going to put this to the side and we will um, put that on our agenda. We'll, we'll do a motion. Anything else? Okay. We are going to start our meeting at 530 if anybody needs to take a quick break. No. So you're adjourning at 527? So we're adjourning at 527. The, and the study session? Study and session. You should wait till 530. That's right. And don't, allow, don't uh, go too long to the restrooms. I could impersonate the theme song the council uses when there's a pause in the council meeting. You have that memorized. I did. <laughs> you want me to? No. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Here. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Second. And I'll start the um, recording and we'll do the signal when it's Great. 530. Okay. okay. Thank you. And then I'll try Thank to you. figure out the time where I've already played with it and got it going, but time will tell you. They've got the stick down. So then again, we're going to have Jim will have me. Oh, when it's, time. Well, well, when it's time. Oh, when it's time. So it, I did you want me to do both mission statement and public comment? Or?
Mission statement. We don't done. need to do. Repeating. Oh, okay. So this is public comment. Okay. I'm with you. I texted Ron to tell him I was running late, so I do so. I'm oh, terribly sorry. We, I'm, we I'm all very know sorry. that we're, yeah. late. I, we we're, 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 we're trying, trying were, our best to do everything we need to do. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dale, is the planning department open today, or is it uh, closed because it's Columbus Day? You're here. No, we're open. You're open. What time are they open till yeah. six? <laughs> I have something I have to discuss with wait, them. Well, you know, interesting side note, but you know, it's a, it is a culturally sensitive issue, very sensitive, to refer to today as Indigenous Peoples Day and not mm -hmm. Columbus Day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that legislated? No, it's not. It's I'm just, just, I'm just a, putting it out there as information to the California commission. California, it is. Mm -hmm. I, I thought it was. Well, we it decided is, no more Columbus right. Day. Yeah, yeah I did. Tell that yeah. to the people uh -huh. of San Francisco. Mm -hmm. that's 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 the number one school district I have is closed today for holidays. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's 530. Okay. So we have to wait for the light? It's on. There we go. Okay. So we are going to call to order today's Human uh, Rights Commission meeting. Um, and could we do roll call? No. No? We uh, go with, um, you have a quorum present, and okay. you can proceed with your meeting. Thank you. Okay. Um, public comments. Jim? Yes. This time has been set aside for members of the public to address the commission only on the agenda Remember. item uh, during this portion. Oh, wait a minute. I'm reading from the study session. I need to do it from over here because that was restricted study session. Well, and I, I think I need to edit that a little bit as I read it. The, the time has been set aside for members of the public to address the commission only on agenda items um, that are on the agenda. And they must file a speaker card with the staff liaison before that portion of the agenda being called. Did make a couple of minor edits to how that was written because it was written, obviously, for the intent of the study session but we need a little broader. We need the plurality. Thank you, make, Commissioner Gross. You are welcome to, to make right. it work so for us. So first we have Bob Heinbog. Hello. Good afternoon, Commissioners. Thank you for having us once again speak to you. My name is Robert Heinbaugh, and I'm a resident of Palm Springs. And the first item that I would like to speak to is the item 7B on your agenda about the tobacco retailer permit. I would like to express my appreciation to the commission for uh, designating Commissioner Randolph to be the individual responsible for dealing with the tobacco related items that we have brought to you on more than one, <laughs> how about numerous occasions? And we applaud you for the uh, time that you've taken to consider appointing someone to respond to our uh, persistence, if you will, <laughs> if I can use that term. I would like to uh, update you on the status of the tobacco retailer permit. It was uh, presented to uh, City Council last Wednesday night, and it had its first reading. There were uh, four f individuals who spoke in favor of the uh, tobacco retailer permit. There were no speakers in opposition to it. One question was raised by a city council member regarding uh, the tobacco retailers who are on tribal land. They took a vote, and the vote was five yes, zero no on the first reading. Uh, the question that was raised will be answered by the city attorney at the next reading, which is sex scheduled for the 27th of October. And, uh, I beg your pardon? Is it the 17th? I thought it was the 27th. I, I might be missed. 27th of October. No, 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 and 17th. I have it 17th? Okay. Yeah. Whenever the next meeting is, mm -hmm. that's when they're going to have it, the second reading. And that's to say that you, as a commission, still have an opportunity to write a letter of endorsement for the tobacco retailer permit and get it to the uh, city council uh, to, to say that you are, in fact, in favor of, uh, of that retailer permit. Um, with that, uh, let's see. I think that's it for me. Thank you very much and appreciate your, your stepping forward on this issue, Commissioner. 
Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm just going to exit my time. <laughs> and next we have Paul Henriksen. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Hi, Paul Henriksen, Palm Springs resident. You've seen me before joining Bob regarding tobacco issues. So, yes, we're excited about the TRP, and we're also excited about the city ordinance. So the TRP was a county uh, tobacco ordinance, and then our next uh, challenge is the citywide ordinance, and so we'll be working with Nikki on that and bringing presentations to uh, the commission to look for a resolution of support for that as well. We're working with other commissions. Sustainability has already presented it to city council, and city council has it in the hands of the city attorney, but there will be topics because it's a much more broad um, uh, product covering sev several different components of no smoking ordinances in the city. So we'll want to bring those forward to you and talk about how it uh, interdigitates with the missions of the Human Rights Commission. Uh, secondly, um, a totally different topic, and that has to do with, um, it sounds like it may be related and is very slightly, and that is with cannabis grow facilities. There's an issue that's growing in our city, and one of the neighborhoods, Bob and I are the co-chairs of neighborhood formation support with 1PS. And one of the neighborhoods, Desert Highlands Gateway Estates, which you're familiar with, um, seems to be a dumping ground. Um, at least people seem to think so. And they try to put things in their neighborhood uh, thinking they can get away with it and uh, take advantage of, of the neighborhood. And now it's grow facilities. And the problem is it doesn't belong in or near a grow, near a neighborhood. In fact, this grow facility is pumping out a lot of toxins. The smell is overwhelming, not just their neighborhood, but other neighborhoods as well. And this is a rapidly evolving new experiment because grow facilities are increasing the, uh, the strength and potency of what they're producing in there. And a lot of human intervention is involved. This is not organic growing. And this particular, these particular facilities right now are within only a few hundred feet of the daycare center at Rosa Parks uh, housing community. And the neighborhood has said, please come help us. What can you do? And so we're doing what we can to help. And we think this falls under the um, goals and missions of the Human Rights Commission as well, and you already have representatives going. They have another meeting tomorrow evening, and we're hoping to help support them, and it is important because we're also speaking to the Planning Commission because another facility wants to open right next door to those existing ones, intensifying the problem, exacerbating it to a totally unacceptable level, and we're concerned about their neighborhood and surrounding neighborhoods. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So next, um, uh, we have a pr pr uh, pr approval of minutes from fe fe February twelfth. Well, I was going to do them one at a time. Should I just lump them all together? February 12th, March 12th, and April, April, April 9th of 2018. You all have those. So. I motion to approve. I second. Thank you, David. Thank you, Nikki. Um, th this is where I'm rusty. Can, can I, you help me with the, do, do we have to do any oppose? Yes, we will. Is there, the motion's on the floor, yeah. it's been second. Is there any corrections, additions? No. Hearing none, you want to vote? Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And I, I'd like to be recorded as recused. Okay. Yeah. Or abstaining. Abstaining. Abstaining, yeah, yes. Okay. So that's four. No. Are we okay with that? You're on all three? Or yes. uh -huh. we may have to bring it back. Are you voting? Yes, I I voted and I said okay. Yes, I, I think I, I got the quorum yes. yeah. approved it. I think didn't it? 
Mm-hmm. We had four four eyes here, right? Mm-hmm. We need five. Five. We need five. No. We we no. need five. Yeah. We'll just bring them forward for next month as and well. And that gives people time to read over them. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, com- and, and they're on the uh, on the city website for the commission. They right? they came to us too. Via email. There, it's in the email. It came yeah. as a packet. Um, the typically the minutes are not posted to the website until they are approved by the commission. Mm-hmm. So they are not for public v- review, but it was included in the packet. I'll have to go back and check them because I don't believe I. I, Jim, I, I, can't give them I don't believe I received. It's okay. I don't believe I received a packet, which is why I was missing. Hmm? Hmm? Yes. Oh, I know. No, 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 no. That's fine. I'm just noting for for future for going for whatever. I can double check my email box and okay. see, but I I don't think I've received anything. That's well, Commissioner Gross. Sh- yeah. yeah. The packet that we received it was one big packet, so it was just yeah, one attachment. Yeah. I know. So if you got the okay. agenda, then you got the passages. I, I got the agenda for today from Denise. Oh, you yeah, didn't receive I, an email. I, I oh, hand, no email. handed it to Jim from the yeah. table here, so. Let's check that so yeah, that yeah. you I, you I can, can get everything. Just, uh, yeah, we don't have to have a discussion. I'll just yeah. check and okay, let great. Know what I find in terms of my email. Okay, terrific. For the benefit of a vote, I do have a full packet. If you wish to review it, uh, I believe you were present at all three meetings. Um, that well, uh, I'll tell you right up front. The reason I am um, abstaining is because, yes, I do believe I was at all three meetings, but with the amount of time that has passed... I see. And anything that I would have, I, I would find in my own mind, uh, you know, anything I would propose to be questionable because of the time. That w- and that's why I'm, I'm recusing it. it Very yeah. well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, and, and I just passed mine over to Nikki. All right. to Jim because I just gave mine to Nikki. I I can print again too. Okay. If I get stuck, I'll just be I'll just have okay. I'll get it back. Okay. I think that um um come 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 uh Missioner Rand Randolph is uh looking over over at them. If, that's if you okay. wish to, if you wish to proceed, and then we can come back to that. Item. I can do that. Okay. So, uh, 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 item f- f- five is commissioner staff and student comments. Commissioner Gross. No, I don't have any. I have a lot to report. We get to some of the programs, Great. But, but not on this. Terrific. Com- com- commissioner Ch- Chandrasena. Uh, no, I have nothing to report on. Okay. No Co- comment. Commissioner Randolph. <coughs> Commissioner Morgan. Uh, actually, a very interesting. I've been doing some volunteer work at the um, Boys and Girls Club, which is uh, amazing. I love those little kids, especially the 6 to 12-year-old group. I found out about, I, you all probably already know, but I'm late to the, the game, but the Safe House, have you ever heard of that? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Amazing program, so let it be on record. Safe House is a great program for youth if they ever need help especially when there's things that are happening at home Mm -hmm. so i just wanted to bring that up to everybody oh yeah please do um can i comment on the um talk that we just had one thing that i think is very interesting coming from san francisco where there's a lot of development there is um and i don't remember the the term of the fee and when we were at the uh meeting at the um Jesse O'James. Jesse O'James. They were talking about the cannabis clubs coming in and doing mm. the grow facilities, which was quite interesting. But in San Francisco, where they build major developments, they actually, the city will charge a fee, and that fee is actually used specifically for that area of where the development is. And I was going to mention it at the time, but I didn't think it was appropriate. But I, notwithstanding as far as like the health issue, but that's something to consider if that these grow facilities are being established in Palm Springs that we might as well get something from the developer because they're obviously making money and to give back to the community. It would be just a nice thing if 
they're going to be allowed to continue. Just a thought. Mm -hmm. Okay. And are commissioner. There, are there mitigation fees or mitigation? I don't know if there's mitigation fees. Uh, they're not impact fees. They may have some type of community benefit and then have to make a contribution or give some resources or service to the community. And it's through the application process, and I am not familiar with that. So, I mean, if that's something of interest, we may be able to get a presentation from planning commission or planning mm -hmm. staff to give us an overview of the process. Mm -hmm. I'll find out. You know, the other thing, too, that might be worth looking at is this issue is also very live and active in Cathedral City. So if, if we uh, decide to look at this further, we, we might want to ask for a resource from Cathedral City, who has some experience so far, because they're already having this discussion actively about what to do with the Grove facilities with exactly the same issues that are arising here for us now. Okay. And Commissioner Andrade, do you, do you have any, any, anything? No, I don't. Okay. And, and I don't either. So that br br brings us to item s s s s s six items for discussion and or vote. Um, uh, 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 Master cal cal Calendar, Commissioner uh, Chandrasena. I'm not on that anymore, on the Master Calendar. Yes. No. If do you want, we have updated we the have calendar There's, uh -huh. and to add to your yeah. Paperwork. I think at the time, um, possibly some of the uh, Pride events was not fully listed, so we included those, and there was an overlap of some of the meetings. So th there was no major correction. Okay. Okay, and Kim. Uh, um, uh, then subcommittees, community outreach and and um, marketing. marketing. Yeah. Com commissioner, may I just say um, there's just two corrections that I would like to make for the subcommittees. I was taking off the community out community outreach and marketing. I'm sure that was an oversight because I'm sure I'm loved on that committee and they would fully <laughs> vote my confidence on it. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So I should be on that one. Uh -huh. But I was also, I requested a while back Can to be taken to off the student representative committee. So I'm, I'm going to, to just interrupt us for a second. Can we go to five on our committee? So right at, at, at this time on the outreach, we have one, two, three, four. So if we add and I don't know how that happened, but if we add back, do we have anybody well, who actually, wants to? actually, Commissioner yeah. Gross, had, I mean, that was another yeah. one. Commissioner Gross had requested right. to step several down. months ago. So to we be need taken to fix off. that. Yeah, yeah, I, I have Got been it. active on that committee for four or five months now, I think. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I did request to be removed. That's I mean, you great. know, we're the three musketeers over here since Jim left us, so, I mean. And, and Ryan's really yeah. active on it now, too. So us four, if that's yeah, permissible. Yeah, I have Chandra Cecina, Misio, Morgan, and Randolph. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your vote of confidence. And then <laughs> also you had said that there was a, that on the student representatives. Yes. So um, I, I, I think that that correction is Morgan instead of Sharulo. No, there are four there. Morgan is on the second line for student representatives. Oh, I missed him. Okay. So you're there. Did you not see but that? But I should be taken. I mean, I requested you should a few be taken off. Ago to be taken off. Scratch you off of there then. Add me to one, subtract me to another. Okay. All right. Okay. So we've got the community outreach and, uh, and, and, um, uh, um, uh, marketing com com commissioners, any updates? Yes, I'd like to update on the um, fundraiser, the film fundraiser we've been working on. Um, we've had to cancel the date for October 30th because 
we're just not there yet. Um, the Cultural Center is a nonprofit, and then we as a commission have to have everything looked over. We have a contract to use their theater, and it's their standard contract, which is not exactly working for us. So we need more time to um, work all that through, and I'd rather not drop it. I'd rather keep going, clearing up all factors that the city uh, attorney needs us to clear up, and then we'll just plug in a different date. The good news is um, the producer of the film uh, understood totally when I told him we couldn't do it right now, and he said whenever we would like to use it, he'd be happy to give it to us. So okay. we're still on track for that. Okay. To me, it makes sense to do it uh, either next June during Pride things that happen in California or next October again or late October, early November when we have Pride here. It just makes sense to not try to fit it into any other slot. So we would have plenty of time to get organized and to make it happen. Uh, with that being said, uh, if everyone's agreeable that that's the plan, then I'm gonna go talk to the center who was gonna be our beneficiary, our, our community partner, and try to get them on board with the same date so we can all work together to make a big successful event. So that's the update. Okay, thank you. Um, Kim, uh, Immunity uh, 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 Service Awards, Commissioner gr gr Gross. There has been no meeting. Thank you. Uh, finance, Commissioner Randolph. No update at this time. No update. Retreat. Um, I don't have have an update today. Um, student uh, 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 reps. Commissioner Morgan is no longer on that committee, and I don't have an update. I have a question. Uh, as we're having such a hard time trying to find student reps from the schools. Why don't we look at the Boys and Girls Club to uh, get two reps on there? Because they are, they are they actually, they are working in different uh, areas of leadership and uh, empowerment and stuff. So they are, they are, we might be able to find two students there. Because we've spent half of our year with no students. That is a brilliant idea, Jill Scott. Seriously, because they, they do have, if you think about it, we've, we've toyed with this back and forth throughout the year and a half for a little over a it's, year. It's been about, about a year. Representing, is it only Palm Springs students that go to a Palm Springs school? But there are students there from all different schools um, that feed into that facility. So if that's something you guys are interested in, I can certainly speak to some of the um, the leaders at the Boys and Girls Club and find out if they'd be interested. I mean, it'd be a great leadership opportunity mm -hmm. for any one of the students. Ideas? Procedurally, in the rules that have been established, it was identified Palm Springs High School students. Um, earlier when I spoke that the city council has received recommendations from the districting work group they're one of the recommendations it does include adding student representative on all boards and commissions so we may get direction as to the potential pool of of students that we would seek and the suggestion the boys and girls club is good maybe there's other youth organizations within the city that we could also outreach to so we'll, we'll keep that in mind and that's kind of where my question comes. Again, I think, yeah, Jill, it's a great idea. They're totally in favor of that if it can move forward. I guess my question is, Dale, you partially addressed it just now, but how can we move that forward? In other words, not just have it be kind of an informal, we'll talk to them, but is there some way to move it forward? I can follow up with the city clerk's office. I know that the last month Ryan reported that the, there had been an extension given to the school, and he did make a personal outreach to the faculty advisors that are involved, and I don't know if 
I have not received any nomination forms, so I don't know if there may have been some that have been forwarded. This is my question. Does anyone here know of any students who are interested in the position? It, it seems like we're working this from the top down. We all want student representatives and people. We're talking to the, the principals and all these other people. Are the students, do they want to do it? We want them to. Yeah. From what I, when I was working on the commission or the subcommittee, that there was a large, not large, I shouldn't say large, there was a group of students who were very much interested in leadership possibilities and being a representative for our commission. However, between the school board representative that I was speaking to, to the vice principal that I was speaking to, and then the principal who really kind of pushed that away, I don't know what happened to those students. There's no way of me communicating mm -hmm. with the students because mm -hmm. I do need someone from the school. So unfortunately, between the principal and the vice principal, I don't know what happened, but um, we don't have those students anymore. So that's why Ryan's been working on a different game plan, but I don't know how that's being implemented because if we didn't have the support of yeah. the principal in the first place. Uh, I'm wondering, uh, David, uh, or anybody may have some information on this, has anybody had a chat with James Williamson on this? I don't know who James Williamson it, it, is. James is the chair of the uh, school board. And um, I, I think it needs to be a careful conversation because there are sensitivities, and I know the, the board has to honor them, related to the roles of the managerial staff in the school district versus themselves as a policy board. But I do think that there are some policy elements in this, at least be worthwhile for him to be aware of them, even if there's not necessarily a role that he can take to directly push something to at least be a voice of influence, maybe. But totally agreed. I think the problem or the <coughs> challenge was that the principal did not like being involved in the process. I can understand that but then to totally dismantle what was being established was yeah. a bit of a blow. So maybe if, I don't know if the relationship between the school board and the, the principal, but it's something that should be addressed, definitely. Yeah. JD, do you see any particular issue as long as it does not discuss specific legislation or policies or in the rest of it, really an informational discussion? Well, I think that I would, inquire with the city clerk's office and how they are going to go about uh, adding student reps to all our boards and commissions yeah. and share with them our experience yeah. and the difficulties that we've had that maybe with an interest from the school board themselves it may elevate to a higher level and more attention would be given to it yeah i like that's that that's good idea. i think it's so we can hold off on any of this until that happens? Until Well, I, I don't think right now we even know if we have interested candidates from the student population. But right. to share that the recommendation is moving forward, we've attempted to have a more formal structure for our representatives, and it had not been properly received at the administration level. And if there's some greater attention that the school board can can look how the how it may be strengthened. Right. So there might be structure from the city for that that Precisely. covers all the commissions. Yeah. Right. That would be right. amazing. Yeah. 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 That would work. Yeah. Which is why I like my suggestion. Yeah. yeah. And I mean that would also involve a lot of students. Yeah. I mean that would be amazing to have student representation and, of every involved in go different go commission. Yeah. Different not everyone might be interested in human rights, but right. maybe a different commission. And that was the intent to have, you know, the civic experience. experience. Yeah. Right. Um, besides your commission, the Sustainability Commission is the only other board and commission that has student representatives. But those who have interests, maybe career goals, that could fit into another commission, and it could be more of a formal educational process. Well, the other uh, aspect, although, Jay, I think you just took us down the right path, so I think I like what you're suggesting there. But the other uh, factor, which unfortunately did not come to fruition, uh, may, may come back, is that uh, as a number of us know, uh, James and Jeff both uh, were, well, still are primary um, sponsors 
for bringing um, the March for Our Lives students here to Palm Springs. And unfortunately, due to logistical issues with March for Our Lives, some of the students were at college, things that came up, blah, 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 blah. The reception to honor those students and to actually bring some visibility uh, to student participation in governance, which is the core of what that's all about, did not occur. But uh, the plan, as I understand it now, uh, and James is one of the principal organizers, is, is that it's more of a reschedule now than a cancellation. So that still may come forward, and there still might be an opportunity to tag on to that thematically, maybe supporting the, where, where you're suggesting, but even giving it more oomph. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a senior resource day and dependent adult bill of rights. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're about set to actually have soup. We're about set to actually have soup with this. Um, the, um, why is my calendar weird? Hold on, just give me a beat. Huh? I'm sorry, the, my calendar's giving me. Why is that on my, well, it, it's just all of a sudden weird. It's not on my calendar. Huh? No, there it is. Okay, never mind. It's me. Anyway. Yes, uh, everything's in order uh, for the October 23rd um, uh, uh, Senior Resource Day. Didn't mean to give you an alarm. That was just a problem with me and my calendar, nothing to do with the event itself. So um, here are brochures for you guys, okay. at least you. for your uh, personal copies. And I think you all, uh, and certainly, of course, I'm hoping that uh, all of you as commissioners will be able to attend if you can. Thank you. Uh, kicks off with breakfast at 8.30. The, uh, the other uh, thing to know about format is each of uh, what we call the vendors. I, my Zell likes to call them vendors. I don't think of them as vendors. Whatever. Per, the major participants uh, who will be presenting there, they, uh, they will each give short presentations following the breakfast and then it'll essentially be kind of a free form affair for the um, attendees to visit with each of the providers uh, in the course of the morning. So there nice. we go. And um, the, uh, uh, these brochures were just uh, finished um, the end of last week. So the other component I can hand out to you. Jim, how are the uh, brochures being distributed? Oh, you're... Oh, I'm ahead of you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, here we go. This is a Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, you can pass these around. This is the publicity plan. Now that uh, this piece and the artwork is done, this is now the That's active me. plan going forward. And um, a lot of this will be done electronically. Uh, but the act uh, coming pretty much, Nikki, to <laughs> you're so practical. <laughs> That's great. Uh, coming to, to your actual point on this, I do um, mm -hmm. want to ask for your assistance in helping with this distribution of some of these brochures. What I would like to ask you to do, just jumping right to, to the chase, if you look under physical distribution, third down, um, for both the center and for the well, I uh, would like to get brochures to them. So if somebody be willing to take, I have, have them right here, and if somebody be willing to take, you know, some, not huge quantity, um, to those two uh, centers, that'd be great. Uh, Mizell already has these, of course, and are already in display as Mizell. I'll tell you also, since I volunteer, I have a backup phone line, um, and so it's not widely publicized, and I offered that to the event so people could RSVP so we get some idea of count. And I'm getting a lot of calls on that line. That's great. Yeah. Can I have so, some flies to take to sure. Yeah. my times, too? Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. If you, too, I'll get, get those out there. Okay, well, then, that's why this box is here. <laughs> Jim, I wanted to say uh, congratulations to you. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. This is action and results, and I'm very excited about the event. I'll definitely be there. Oh, good. I'm glad you're there. Oh, by the way, the other thing, too, Oh, let me do this now because this particularly, I think, is a particular function for you. Our budget didn't allow lots of these, but if, and so there's very few copies right now. If we need more, I'll make the case for doing more. 
here is a Spanish language insert that can be used if that's nice. Uh, you hit a location or run into an individual of these. Um, and this does not include the inside of the folder. When these things are folded, like this is, of course, how they are, uh, this duplicates the front and the back. So the essential information is there on this for um, Spanish language speakers. And um, so there you go. Uh, it, I don't know that it's the most complete nice. way of approaching that language demographic. Our budgetary constraints didn't allow a full scale. It's beautiful. Uh, hmm? Well, thank you. But it didn't allow a, a full scale approach there. But, but at least we touched it. So I think that's good. Um, oh, so now we're ready for the, the mainline ones here. So um, who would like to do the center? Can I, I, yeah. I, I like, uh, I think it was renamed to Pacific and then the Windsor and then Stonewall. I'd be more than happy to drop some off at all three of those facilities. Are uh, those are assisted livings? Uh, not it's all assisted living. Stonewall, Stonewall, is. Is. Stonewall is Windsor is, isn't it? Uh, yes, that is. Yeah. Yes, it is. And then Pacific is a combination of memory and just and regular and fare. and uh, then I can uh, ha handle the uh, two co-ops co co on Vista, Vista Ch 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 Chino, even if I just post post well, them there. Yeah, no, well, well, that's this, wonderful. This yeah, and, senior and, and co-ops. Co In the planning discussions we've had with Mazel, mm -hmm. we actually covered this territory because my initial thought was that a primary distribution point would be actually through assisted living nursing mm -hmm. homes, that kind of a thing. The practical view from Mazel, which I accept, is that, yeah, fine, but with a limited budget, the people who are going to come to this are going to be those who have some mobility. Right. And their experience, they touch them every day with Meals right. on Wheels. Right. They see them every day. Right. And a lot of these folks in these facilities simply are not able to get out of their bed to come. Right. And so, uh, so the co co-ops are pe pe More people who are ambulatory, yes, who are I'm, struggling yeah. to I'm eat. just putting that into the mix of yeah. information. Because otherwise, I love that you guys are stepping up and, and, and offering it. Yeah. I'm just offering this information. Yeah. I think absolutely no harm is done no. in touching Windsor Court or the others. I don't think there's any problem with that. But uh, just so you have the background, the idea for not trying to cover it all, number one, started with just financial necessity, mm -hmm. but also, I think, an accurate reflection at the end of the day. And again, I bow to Ms. L's experience with Meals on Wheels is these folks just simply do not leave their facilities. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So, but what I was going to say yeah. is those two facilities, I'm not sure about Stonewall, they have vans and they take them out on excursions. So yeah. I was planning, yeah. what I was planning Perfect. on doing, correct me if I'm wrong or if it's not a good idea, but approaching like the ED or the GM right. at each facility to say, this is what's happening. In case any of your um, clients are interested, maybe they can actually arrange a trip to head over that day. Love it. Yeah. Okay, so I, th I think it's absolutely all great. All I need is just like a couple for each, and I'll just approach mm -hmm. management well, and say, this is what's going on. Well, based on this lovely enthusiasm, what I'm going to do here is I'll just, <laughs> here's a stack. Why don't you take what you think you can use and... Um, I'll go to the well. Oh, thank you, Terry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah you know the well. You, you'd be perfect for, for taking okay. care of the well. Yeah, so, so grab what you want from these. Of course, as I think you can kind of see these just folded. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's yeah, no big deal. Lovely. So I'll, shall I or pass them around? Well, I'll yeah. just, just pass them around. This yeah. looks great, Commissioner Gross. Amazing. It it from yeah. the beginning yeah. conception to this finished product, and even the Spanish-speaking. Mm -hmm. There's a few uh, Spanish-speaking grocery stores. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll drop off and just... Maybe they might have some people that can attend. Yeah, and let me know too. As we uh, fortunately, we have what we have a little over two weeks before the event. So particularly um, on the Spanish language, if you're finding we need more, because the only reason I cut it off, I think there are only about 50 right now, is because of the budget. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm more than glad to make the case. I think it'll be received very positively based upon demand to do another run. We could do another run of Spanish language uh, sheets in one day. Jim, by chance, do you have PDFs of these documents? Yes, I do. In uh, fact, I think I sent you the PDF versions. No. No. I, no. I was going to say, if you did not, I can scan these and send them to the commissioners if you want to forward on 
and the facilities can maybe yeah. just. I, I, I already have them electronically, so right. I, I'll send the electronic Excellent. version to you. Okay. And then you can send it on Press to the rest it, yeah. of the commission as well, yeah. because that, that's another that, way to back be, that up. That'd be great. Is the city promoting this? It is on the city's website. Uh, the council. Facebook? Counts, pardon me? Through Facebook? Facebook? Uh, not yet, but I, I can get that to, done. Yeah. Uh, also, to um, the I, the council has been invited. I don't have a definite count of who mm -hmm. will be attending, so there will be. Well, and, but actually, the, those questions ideally are anticipated in the overall publicity plan. And so, uh, why not offline over the next couple three days? Because I don't want to take a lot of detail time here. But if there are some additions you think should be made or whatever or comments, please let me know. But this is the plan, and, and, and coming back to the online and the websites and blah, 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 uh, I'll be doing a lot of that just directly with the electronic versions. That's well within my capabilities of time and hopefully expertise. The Susie, by the way, you see there's the Mizell staff person, so uh, Susie will take care of the vendor websites. And is there anything else here? Um, Dale, I'll be coming back to you, and you can see the, the, the drop dates on 10-15, but the uh, press release, which actually got drafted last spring, and the only real change that will be on that will be some, uh, the date change. And the title, I think back then we had the old title. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll be sending that what to your way probably tomorrow or, the, or Wednesday at the latest. Mm -hmm. And we can get... Had <coughs> 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 a huge run of allergies last weekend. Anyway, uh, the, the, that'll take care of the, um, the print media. We just talked about physical distribution on meetings. I'm planning on going to the, um, I don't know why I have 1010, it should be 1017, but the 1017 council meeting and making a public comment announcing this. And I will be uh, doing the same as is my role with 1PS, who is meeting Thursday. So uh, 1PS will know about that on Thursday. And the last I have, uh, you guys might not know about this when I report, unless you're active in your neighborhood or neighborhood organizations. Denise Goolsby, who's the Office of Neighborhood Involvement, mm -hmm. each week puts out a uh, boy. It, I think it is the the, the best mm -hmm. resource sheet on what's going on with all things city, and so I'll be feeding this into her as well. And she's already aware of this, and I know this coming through. So, I think I think that's my story. It's awesome. Any uh, questions or? In terms Thank of you, format, Jim. this is going to be a breakfast, a, like a sit like a sit down kind of thing? I think it's going to be more of a kind of a buffet thing. Buffet the breakfast thing? will start okay. at 8.30. Program will start at 9. Okay. So I think the idea so here is... So opening it, speech, a welcome, Well, uh, it, yeah. Uh, Susie and I will do a couple of introductions. Okay. And then the agencies, what they myself calls the vendors, I think right. of them as the agencies, right. but you see them there. They will each give brief uh, presentations, five to ten, no more than five to ten minutes okay. each. So they'll be speaking about their programs. In the meantime, those that have picked up a buffet breakfast are chomping down. <laughs> right, right. And once they're done with that, uh, then uh, there'll be tables around the edge of the room, and we'll invite the participants to, to come and visit with the agencies that are important to them. Okay, and thank you. Have that follow-on discussion with them. That's so terrific. it's pretty, it really is, there's no rocket science here, folks. It's, it's, it's really a pretty straightforward expo. But I will say also uh, thank you, dear folks at, at Mizell. Mm -hmm. I appreciate your thanks to me. But there's a lot of work even in some of this from, from the Mizell Center as well. So it's, it's definitely terrific. a joint effort. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. And then uh, the, uh, de the Desert Highland Gateway uh, uh, States update for the external that we have. Uh, last month, I did go, I went for the meeting and um, the most part of the meeting, they were talk, they had speakers about talking about the election reforms in Palm Springs. Uh, it was very, very informative, and I, that was the first time I was exposed to, you know, what's going on with the election reforms and uh, in uh, uh, the transition mayors. And today I, I looked up the website, the Palm Springs City website, and I, you find all this information on page 58, if anyone wants to read about what's happening with the election reforms here in the city. 
on page 58 to find all this information. Now, next tomorrow, I cannot go for the meeting, and I would like another commissioner to attend because uh, it's very important that we are present there. So anyone who would like to go tomorrow, because I have another meeting down in the valley. Would you go with Are you free to go at 7? Not actually. No? But we, are you able I'm to? traveling. I, I need to double check if I can. When is it? I'm looking at my phone. At 7 o'clock tomorrow. Tomorrow. At the uh, gateway. I will try to go. Okay. I'll shoot Ryan. I'll shoot Ryan a, an email to see if he can go as well. Okay. No need. Ryan is traveling. He's he's not in the area. Oh, he's not. Okay. No, right. He's some distant shore somewhere. Okay. So okay. probably to bring back some, or get, have some feedback for the next meeting, if you could go. Right. So you're just observing there? I mean, you just there's go no and role. introduce yourself. Okay. And say, mm -hmm. you know, because they now look forward to us coming there. Okay. Because I have been consistently going to the meetings. Okay. Uh, so just introduce yourself and just um, okay. take part I in the I will try forum. to do that. Okay. And the home, home, uh, 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 homelessness task force. No report. No report. Other than they, their regular quarterly meeting will be next Thursday, October eighteenth. And, yes. and it is on your calendar. <laughs> okay. But I will make one comment uh, on that topic. Uh, council received from um, Hark, I believe. Uh, I think it was from Hark, a commission from Hark, uh, a, a really detailed and yeah. very, very thorough yeah. uh, report on the status of homelessness um, items overall, including housing. So uh, for resource, refer back to last council meeting and click on the agenda item. The It's a, like a 70-page report, and every page has valuable information on it. I watched it. most of that. The, I'm sorry, what? I watched it on oh, television, most of it, but I didn't. There, it's yeah. worth looking. if. Anybody's actually going to do a dive into right. homelessness for Palm Springs, it's really worth looking at that right. report because it really reveals some things that have not been part of the generalized discussion about, isn't it horrible we don't have housing for, uh, for the homeless? And the, um, the approach to dealing with that issue, I don't think anybody's, I'm not hearing any comments about there shouldn't be something there. But at the end of the day, the report really outlines the various ways and paths forward to provide for that, not necessarily in some of the models that have been discussed right. off top of people's heads. Right. Mm -hmm. Was this the evaluation of Path of Life Ministries and, and, and yes. what they've been doing here to work? Okay. So that, that was the report that CVAG uh, had right. contracted mm -hmm. with right. HARC to be able to evaluate the progress and the assistance that the Path of Life Ministries has been providing throughout the valley. Also, too, that uh, the city had at that same meeting um, given a declaration of shelter crisis, which will make the city eligible to receive the state funding. Uh, the county is anticipated in receiving uh, $9 million. So with that declaration, we will be looking at specific projects that possibly can be able to address some of the issues that we're confronted with. Uh, if you remember, it, it was the possibilities of the um, county uh, fire station and the need for respite care, um, medical provided. So we'll, we'll be updating more next week's meeting. Uh, I found, um, I've, through David actually, um, it was homelessness to our student population uh, from Palm Springs Unified or the schools around. And I was able to connect with the social worker and she gave me a very good list of places that what they have uh, put into place. They have a liaison in the school and they are able to do the referrals. Again, um, these are agencies that have different models of separating families. And again, I think that's very important that we visit these agencies and try to keep families together. Uh, even though if, that's, if it's homelessness, 
with a child and a mother, we need to see that we are sensitive to keeping them together. So, uh, but this resource helped me to tap into other things that I was able to offer a family here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, ha ha house housing Commissioner Andrade and Rand Rand Randolph, any updates in housing? No. Um, uh, Main Street update. Com, uh, ch ch Chair DeHarte is is in here today. Um, org organized neighborhoods. Com Commissioner Gross. Mm -hmm. Nothing really new there outside okay. of. I think I mentioned very briefly on this event. I will. Well, I'm always at one PS meetings, but I will be making a presentation there on the. Um, Terrific. <laughs> That's terrific. <laughs> it's late in the day. That's important. Yes. Thank you. Okay. And PSPD LGBT outreach. Uh, Ch Ch Chair Dart isn't here, but he 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 is excused. So we'll get that update when he comes back. And mediation, Com Commissioner Gross. Yeah, I have a call in, uh, but we haven't connected yet with Suzanne. Uh, mm -hmm. Former well. Yes. Yes. Hello, and you actually know in some ways this is kind of her baby, and um, so uh, I want to touch base with her just to get her ideas and thoughts in terms of what is available to us. The good news is I already know from her yeah. is that for those on the commission, oh, can turn this on. Those on the commission that, that that may want to be actively involved in mediation, there is a, a good program readily available through Riverside County. Right. And so we can plug that in. And the other discussion I want to have with her, which I think will then become a discussion here for this group, is um, beyond just this, um, the mediation service. Um, I'm going to chat with her and uh, I'll come back and give you the results of that chat and then solicit your reactions to whether it's just mediation or is there also what I would call um, community education process in effective interpersonal communication that might want to be worked. And that's a very preliminary idea, much the, as, as you would say, Nikki, so what do you mean by that specifically? I don't mean anything specifically yet. Uh, it's a thematic thing, but um, I, I would like to work that a little bit and, um, and get some ideas Great. here and, and, and try and develop something that is specific, not only to the mediation aspect of it, but also as a general program to the community, potentially sponsored by HRC, but maybe somebody else helps us, I don't know, but speaks to this broader issue of community uh, communication and how the, uh, the community as a whole communicates with itself and also how in various forms people can be effective in their communication. Mm -hmm. So anyway, Terrific. my report on that. Terrific, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, t t topical news worthy items. We can just go around. <coughs> Anybody? Well, Nothing? No, I do have one. You do? Okay. Yeah, and it's definitely newsworthy and topical today. Mm, I'll try and get through this without being emotional because this is probably one of the sh most shocking things I have seen. I have checked it on the web, and evidently it is true is being uh, published this afternoon in national media. Um, high, no, it was a middle school in Virginia uh, in, as part of a safety drill, excluded a transgender student from the drill and seated her on the, the baseball field alone in the middle of the drill. Mm. Now, on the surface, that might seem like a minor thing. To me, that is just human cruelty of the highest order. Now, where that all goes or everything, I'm just, I'm not putting it here necessarily as a commission yeah. item, but I think given our interests and in how we feel about our community, and number one, I want you to be generally aware of it, but it also gives pause as to what, if anything, and it isn't if anything, there is something to be done here. I, I'm just putting it there for information right now. Mm -hmm. But this, now it's moving. I don't like, to, and I'm, I'm purposely not using political terms because to me this is not a political issue. A lot of people think it is. I don't. This is cruelty. This is fundamental human rights 
and the safety of humans in this country. And I, I won't sit, yeah. you get me. I'm probably yeah. preaching to the choir. You get me, so I, I don't need yeah. to go into hysterics here. Be aware of it. Let's watch that. Okay. And and I don't know if at some point we need to jump in on all of this. It's probably premature now, but boy, if we don't pay attention to this, I think it's a shame. Right. Newsworthy item over. Wow. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. All right. So the items for dis discussion and or vote the 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 uh, film proceeds sh 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 sharing. I think. Is that going to go on 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 a hold, or are we going to keep working on the proceed sharing? Uh, no, I think on this particular film and this particular fundraiser, the center certainly is the most appropriate partner, mm -hmm. and they have a lot of uh, clout and power to help us have a sold out event. Um, so, in terms of the sharing, I'm not sure. Uh, do you want to discuss the percentages of sharing, it, or the, it's it, it is a t topic here that we just put there because because we've been talking about how okay. and how to figure that out, and we might not even be there yet today. No, no it's it's a hypothetical sharing. <laughs> I think that was the discussion last month that in terms of the contract <coughs> with the cultural center wow. that there would have been a, the ticket sales and $500 deducted for the rent and right. then what other expenses may have been occurred, whatever the final profit is, the discussion is how, do, how is it shared. Now, it may be premature now because it is hypothetical and we may have better ideas when we get more of a confirmed date and some of the other logistics that... Uh, I think there's time to discuss it and there's probably um, different opinions. Um, initially, it was put forth in the very initial meeting with the center that it'd be a 50-50 split and that was even before we knew that we had to pay the 500 to the nonprofit, but we're in a very good position because the cultural center is is happy to be our partner, uh, but they can't break their rules either. They're a mm -hmm. nonprofit; they have to charge us something, but they're they're willing to take it because we virtually have no money. They're willing to take it out of the ticket sales, so they would get you know out of the ticket sales. So we're in a a really good position there. And then I think the discussion, which you know, we can have at a later date now that it's that it's delayed, is about does the commission have a need for 50% of the proceeds or not? Mm -hmm. And if we don't, well, then a bigger percentage can go to the, the partner. I'm not opposed to it either way, but so far being on the finance committee, it seems that we lack funds to do everything that we'd like to do. So... It's a it's a discussion for another day, unless you guys so want to have is, it now. So is is that an item then that we want to update from film proceeds sh 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 sharing to something like film updates or film? Uh, um, I think it's fundraising. What, what would it be? Fundraising update. Yeah. Uh, like I said, on this particular film unless we choose another topic like you know Black History Month is coming up in February we could reach out to some filmmakers mm -hmm. who have done some you know mm -hmm. great films yeah. and do something with them it, the the concept is there to be worked any way we want i mean the great news is we've established a relationship with the Palm Springs Cultural Center who's going through their own changes so we have the venue to do the film it's a big enough theater that, you know, at, at a nominal fee of $10 per ticket, that the concept works, and it, it has the ability to morph as needed. You know, we can do more than one of these. Mm -hmm. Do you wish to carry it over for next month, or do you want to just mm -hmm. I think wait? now through the holidays, um, nothing's going to happen other than to try mm -hmm. to continue to get it through the city 
um, attorney. Okay. So, so then would that be the appropriate time to put it back so we can figure it out then? Let's say January. Okay. All right. All right. And the tobacco retailer permits, any updates on those? Or discussion or vote? We have it down for that. So I need to know my role. I was a little taken aback that, you know. I mean, I did say to them, I reached out to them, we agreed. Nikki, will you interface mm -hmm. with these gentlemen? And I'm happy yeah. to do it. But I don't want to overstep my bounds. Mm -hmm. So what is my role? So they're asking us for a letter. They're asking for a letter of support. Uh, in the past, we've not given a letter of support so much, but by motion, you have um, moved forward in support of their efforts, um, just as you did with um, the separation of families at the border. Uh, once you made your vote and passed unanimously, I provided a minute order to the city clerk's office that was included in the staff report to the city council. That would yeah. be the same thing done here. So in essence, you're making a motion to support their efforts and having the tobacco retail permits ordinance approved by city council. Yes, let's so do is that. that. So, so, so what Dale something said. that <laughs> we would like to carry into our next meeting. No, no you're we actually, need to vote oh, we're going to do now. it right now. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that was the situation right we now. had with the yeah. previous action with the separation of family. You voted on it. Your, your meeting on Monday, I provided mm -hmm. it to the city right. clerk Tuesday morning. Thank you. And it was in the council supplemental packet for Wednesday. Okay. So that would be the same thing, except it would be next Wednesday when council would be taking okay. formal action. Okay. So then do, do we have a... A, a, a motion. So moved. Do we have a second? Last okay. second. Okay. Um, all those in fa fa favor? Aye. 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 All, all those not or abstaining? Then we. Unanimous. Yes. So again, so that so we're through this part with the retail uh, now tobacco it goes permit. To now it's going to come down to a local uh, ordinance they're going to pursue. I'm sure they're going to come and talk to us about it. But what? How do I interact with them or show support? Do I just show up at city council meetings? You, by the action you take in this evening, it will be documented for council. You can be there and give your support, but okay. that's at your schedule and your discretion. Okay. Um, this item was specifically for the tobacco retail permits. Right. Uh, the gentleman spoke earlier that they may be looking at other topics. Mm -hmm. Right. But right now, the commission. So this was like an ad hoc thing, and it's done, right? I'm but catching on. Speed of light. <laughs> but deal. More is stuff it. done. <laughs> Okay. Wow, that's me. I guess we're done. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, then I'm going to take us well, through this because we do want to put agenda items on for the next time, Jim, unless you have more thoughts. Well, I just have a, a quick question here on, on, on this process. Um, uh, for Nikki uh, at City Council, and for that matter, when I, uh, because I'm planning on going 17th more as informational thing, but related to the event, is there a reason why Nikki and I in those roles should not represent ourselves as commissioners? Well, certainly. I mean, okay. you, yes, you, you're you presenting the work of the commission. Right. And you, as a commissioner, you, and, and yes. Yeah, I, I think yes. I just want to double check because, I mean, obviously it's not me just or Nikki just doing something like, here. We just finished discussing Nikki's item. We know about this, correct. blah, blah, blah. So it's very clear. You know, sure. Okay, just wanted to be sure. And, and it's a you know a city business yeah. meeting. It's not that offsite. You're not a part of any other type of effort. But you, in your role as commissioner and representing the commission, yes, you mm -hmm. present yourself in that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, terrific. Okay, so agenda I items for our uh, next H HRC meeting. Good. I took notes of uh, the first item being commissioner recruitment, uh, the second item, <coughs> committee structure, standing and ad hoc, and then the third, report to council. 
And uh, the report to council was of the progress and the activities that the commission has undertaken to be able to formalize something and, and present to council in a written format, um, not necessarily a presentation, but it would be a receive and file. And it's not the newsletter? It's not no, it is not okay. a newsletter. Okay. Yeah, It's almost, it, I would say, a progress report of the efforts right. that you've right. put forward to make them aware of it. And it may also be items that you want to have further consideration, you know, maybe specific to recruitment, you know, or participating in the interview process. And, and they'll receive it and take it as they wish, so. Okay. Um, was there another item that you the the only thing and and that I sh should have uh, covered is that we have um, we have the uh, D D dyke rally and the pride parade before we come together again did we want to find out who was going to be where um, last year I went we that? and they allowed me to speak uh, as the Human Rights Commissioner, and I'm happy to do that again if everyone's okay with that. Do do we have a time for that, Nikki? It's kind of uh, informal. <laughs> I mean, uh, I will I will send an email to Dale, and then you can distribute it. Could you so that if yeah. if we could come and then the it's pride fun. parade? And last year there were a lot of great speakers. Barbara yeah. Boxer was there. You know it. it the clarification that uh, Ron gave last month that in the first year, I believe, that it was more centered for a woman's event and right. that uh, Ron was not able to speak, but Nikki sure. volunteered. Right. This year is my understanding all are, is welcome. Right. Uh, I don't right. know. That's what I understood. Male speakers will be a yeah. part of it, but all the public is welcome to participate. The radicals from San Francisco have been overcome. <laughs> and then we also have the pride parades. Mm -hmm. So we just um, also want to be sure that we have a good representation there. We had talked about perhaps that we could invite a friend or two to walk with us. Are we going to do that? I'm kind of going backwards. I'm sorry. Is that okay? We'll, Should we'll I stop? Take care of it. No. That's okay. Right. So you're saying put that on as an agenda? No, because the parades will have passed. The pride parade before? Yeah, it's fourth of November. For, no. Before our next It's meeting. November 4th. Oh, okay. And, and well, I forgot I'll to cover that. I just want to be sure that we have people walk. I'll there. bring two friends. I walk too. Okay. And, and, and I'm not organizing parades. I just want yeah. to be sure I that I just we recently have saw an email that there. Ron had shared. Um, Nikki and uh, was yeah. Ryan also? Yes, I don't think we know exactly what it is okay. we're supposed to do. So maybe someone who's, did you do the permits in the past? Yeah. Okay, we'll have a Does conversation. Okay, Ryan's so we'll, we'll be getting an email maybe that we can respond okay. to you if we're going right. to be there. I have one last thing that's just occurring to me for our next regular agenda, that is uh, a report on uh, Senior Resource Day. So mm -hmm. I'll provide a, a short report mm -hmm. on that. Okay. Will that be a part of the subcommittee report, or do can, you? Yeah, yeah, no reason why it shouldn't okay. just be part of the subcommittee. You're right. All right, yeah. so just make sure I'll get an email to everyone about the, the specifics the logistics and then we can respond to you and then maybe you could respond to Ron and I about how it's Who's looking because Ron is always working yeah yeah so um, that we're sure for housekeeping so the three items I identified for agenda items are those acceptable or do, are there additions <laughs> yeah. okay and then also will we be in a position to approve minutes or do you want those carry forward to next month's meeting as well. I have a, a question, just a procedural question. Um, I was present for one of yeah. the three, and you packaged them uh, all up for well, the I, vote, I right? think we should continue with those. Okay, that would yeah, be fine. That, that, okay. That We're way not we'll, under we'll any just, time yeah, frame. No. So. Okay. Yeah. You'll just have laborious reading for the... <laughs> And I have one announcement I overlooked from, actually from the one PS liaison kind of thing, but 
Uh, it's not getting much publicity, so your help would be great. On Thursday evening, uh, one PS will be ho holding a candidates forum, uh, and this is for uh, the uh, water board and for. What's the other board? I actually got a flyer here on this. This is all, but it has not gotten much publicity. Oh, yes, it's for water board and for um, Palm Springs Unified School District. So it'll be right here in City Council Chambers on Thursday at 6.30. And for any of you that want to learn about those uh, candidates, that's a great opportunity to do so. And when is that? And when Jim Did says water board, it's desert, desert water. water. Desert. I was thinking the same yeah. thing. Yeah. We're not I don't know this on here, no. <laughs> I always knew he There's had that many. side to him. Like the what? Water boarding. Uh, oh. Do you have no names of the candidates are running? We we haven't there, quite so gotten through them. that, I mean, but they're, they're, they're we we are. Do you have media. announcements? Okay. Um, it's kind of a serious announcement. Um, I actually I live over on Bristo and I live right next to the Sunrise Park. Just wanted to let you know what I'm doing. I'm not going to be representing the city of Palm Springs in any way or the commission. However, last year I approached the uh, Parks and Recreation Commission several times and made a speech. And I actually called the police department several times, never got a call back. I know that's probably not a, a PC thing to say. But I think, you know, part of our job on the commission is to represent as many people as possible, not the biggest population, but everybody. And I know we talk a lot about the homeless issue, which I completely sympathize as a former homeless person myself. I, I understand. I think I have an understanding of it pretty good. But I think we also need to respect the other citizens in the city of Palm Springs as well. Sunrise Park is terribly unsafe. Um, when I spoke before the uh, Parks and Recreation Commission last year, commissioners said publicly on camera that they would not take their family to the park because it was unsafe. When I talked to the police officers in Sunrise Park, they talk about they won't bring their family because it's not safe. I walk over the park you know, three, four times a day. I've been threatened, my dog has been threatened, I've been told I'm gonna be killed the drugs that are being used and sold in the park it's very open of course if the police drive up into the park it's like everyone scatters they work as a really good tight-knit community when they see police officers they scatter but really if you think about our park the the ballpark the swim park the Mizell center the library the um the playground i mean all those different facilities in that one park and i personally walked so many people to their car I've walked mothers with baby strollers to the sidewalk out of the park because they've all felt unsafe. And recently starting to work at uh, the Boys and Girls Club, I've heard horrible stories about how the children are treated. And I have one, it's really upsetting, I have one story about a girl that was walking across the quad one afternoon. And um, first the two gentlemen, regular residents of the park, started asking her about drugs, all these kind of drugs that they had for her. And then they started talking about her body parts. And this was a girl with books, maybe 12 years old, maybe 13 years old. And that's not the only instance. I mean, this happens on a daily basis to seniors walking from the Mizell Center that are scared to death, people in the, the playground, people that are grandparents that are at the ballpark watching their grandson play a baseball game. I mean, if you think of all those facilities, and it's only what I see, so you know it happens even more. But I would like to actually start making the rounds and speaking to some people at City Council publicly. Um, try to go back to the Parks and Recreation Commission when I was told last year it's not their concern. Um, it's not what they do. Um, even though two of their mission pieces of their mission statement are safety and utilization. But the park, everybody knows it's not safe so they don't use it. And I think, you know, it's nice to be... Um, concerned about the homeless but we also need to be concerned about the other residents and why they're not using the park and the safety of our children mm -hmm. and the safety of our elders that are being threatened on a daily so, basis so could 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 uh, we th think about um, talking about that more um, I would be covered in one of these committees but but, but it could be be an ad hoc too, so that you have helped to to do that. And, and I'm not trying to make anybody look bad, but I'm going to be very honest with who I've spoken to, and the reactions or the responses that I've received. But you know, when you speak to the Parks and Recreation Commission, and the chair says it's not for us to just call the police, and the police say we can't do anything. 
where, I mean, where do you go? You know, the next step for me is to contact city council, start doing a letter to the editor, which I didn't want to do. You know, I thought we could get some sort of something started. There is a Palm Springs homeless uh, hotline. It is more of a complaint based and I can share that email address with you. I can assure you it is taken serious and it, their concerns are responded to. Uh, the other avenue would for you to be attending the homeless task force meeting and making those views known there. Um, the Parks and Rec, it, it's not absolutely correct that they don't have concerns. They've looked at some type of environmental changes that would make it unfavorable for certain elements to not use the park. I mean, we've once had a much larger problem and maybe returning to that. We've had the police command post that sat in the library for several weeks and it was continued to be dressed. Oftentimes it's the squeaky wheel that gets oiled. So I will share that information with you in the morning and try that avenue. I will give you specific staffs that you should include. Thank you. Um, it, it isn't going unnoticed. Um, I think there's a, a, a feeling that everyone's entitled to the right, but if it begins to infringe on the enjoyment of the park and for the entire community, yes, there is a need to readdress it. And, and uh, your pr pr presence is at the Boys and Girls Club now, and yours is at the 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 uh, my z z z z z z z z z so if 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 it continues to be a concern we can cer certainly talk about it here yeah well and then the other thing too is our chair Rondi Hart sits on the police department outreach uh -huh. committee right so I don't know if Ron would want to switch his hat a little bit but maybe through Ron we might want to invite somebody. So if you could start with the guidance that you get from Dale and then and and then we 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 can go from uh, there because I'd that, really much appreciate that, that that does mm -hmm. is, uh, ha that 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 is a concern. I mean, I'm six foot one, two hundred and forty pounds. Mm -hmm. I mean I'm not a little dude, I which I call myself a big dude. And when I walk through the park and I, you know, I'm not really scared, but maybe I should be because mm -hmm. when people are, they're a little bit enhanced, mm -hmm. you know, sure. and I, there's several residents that are always threatened to kill my dog and that's not pleasant. And there's, you know, I hear the things that are being said to other park residents, you know, mm -hmm. mothers with little babies or seniors. I mean, it's just, it's not right. It's not fair. And I understand it's, it's not everybody, but that definitely needs to be taken mm -hmm. care of. And I know the police department works hard, but there needs to be a different system because like I said, you drive that police car on the park, everybody sees. Right. I mean, everybody's watching and you should hear the whistles mm -hmm. and the calls and you know, for the open drug dealing and the open drug use, mm -hmm. our, our teenagers and you know, yeah. younger do not need to see that. They don't need to be harassed mm -hmm. drugs or sexually. Because I don't think in most communities that would not be accepted mm -hmm. to have, don't, I mean, I can tell you there's probably a lot of fathers out there and mothers that would be very upset if they heard their children Well, and, and, like and, and, the library and, too. and oh, interaction yes. the like that just one time to, to a 12-year-old a, a girl could, could mm -hmm. leave a big um, mark. mark. So yeah. we, we also mm -hmm. want to try to keep, keep an eye out for those kinds of things. So if you could... Perfect. Thank you. Follow up the way that we yeah. are Thank hoping you for to get that, that started. Thank you. So with all of that, we've handled all of our announcements. Do we have a, m a motion to adjourn? Before we adjourn, oh. just to make note <laughs> that um, our next regular scheduled um, meeting is um, sh would have been November the 12th. But in observance of Veterans Day, City Hall is not open. We typically scheduled to the next following Monday, which would be uh, November 19th. And we are still on the 530 schedule here in this room. Thank you. 
And um, with that, do I have a, a, a motion to adjourn? I have a motion we adjourn. Any second. second? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.